All right, so a brand new engine just dropped called the Phantom 85, and we got our hands on one. So if you guys are ready, let's check it out. Uh, yeah. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alex from MotorLife.com, and today we are going over another brand new engine kit. This one's called the Phantom 85 by a company called ZT Moto, and I got this one from BicycleEngines.com. Before we get started, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button to help out the channel, and then while you're down there, check out the timestamps because we're going over what comes in the box all of the upgraded parts. Then I'm gonna go over a little bit about this engine, where it came from, how it came to be, and what it does. And then you know what we're doing, we're ripping it apart. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Motor Life Garage. You can see you got a bunch of goofiness and e-toys over here. Got Venom and the Fatty over here and just about one of everything this direction. So a whole bunch coming your way. But today I'm excited because we have the Phantom 85 by ZT Moto. This is actually bigger than the YD100 and the BT100. It is a true 85cc engine, one of the biggest on the market right now. In fact, I think this has a 52 millimeter piston. So you guys are ready, we're gonna go over all of the new parts that come in this kit here. I got this one from bicycleengines.com, so make sure you check out the links in the description. But if you're ready, let's go ahead, check it out. All right, so they tell me there's a whole bunch of upgraded parts in here, so I'm excited to see exactly what comes in the box here. Like I said, I got this one from BicycleEngines.com, so check out the links in the description down there. But this is an all-new, brand-new engine kit that I'm excited to see here. It took a lot of research and development, which we will get into later on in the video, but I'm excited to see all of the parts that come in this new kit here. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, this engine kit came out about a week ago. So big shout out to ZT Moto and BicycleEngines.com for sending me some here. Uh, I think this is the engine itself. We'll get into that. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, gotcha. Doesn't look like we have the exhaust sticking through both boxes here. That's interesting. So let me see if I can get these apart. Uh, nothing else came in the box here. All right, so bear with me here. It's about 100 degrees out here, late August in Illinois. Yeah, so it looks like a big, fatty exhaust pipe on there. You can see it actually went through both boxes, so hopefully it didn't scratch anything on the tank here. Looks good. So they said there's an upgraded gas cap and a couple other pieces. So this looks to be kind of your standard half gallon tank here. Uh, a little bit of scratches there, but doesn't look too bad. Nice, so it does look like they have a little bit of a better gasket and the locking cap. Better, but still a regular stock tank. Cardboard for protection there. <laughs> it's funny because here's actually the top of an MS460 cylinder kit. That's funny to see that packaging in the box there. I think that kind of tells you exactly where this engine came from. They mentioned a whole bunch about the brand new exhaust here. So this brand new exhaust is actually one of their main features. It does have some sound deadening cotton on the inside, I hear. Nice, so look at this exhaust. That one you can see, that is pretty different than regular stock. Big old exhaust inlet there. Uh, does not look like you can actually take out the baffle on this one, but still, nice exhaust. And from what I hear, and from the sound of it already, from the videos I've seen, sounds amazing, nice, deep, throaty sound on here. So brand new exhaust for this new engine. All right, and keep in mind, I don't know if this is 100% the production model that you guys will get, so you might see a couple different extra parts in here, but nice CDI, looks like thicker gauge wire here, so looks like a nice upgraded CDI. Not too bad, like seeing that. So one of the things they did tell me, they have upgraded throttle. So doing a show, 
that this is actually a different, stronger type plastic here. Um, I have seen a whole bunch of these shatter right here, which if you're out on the road and this breaks, not too much fun, but does have a nice upgraded tube there. And you can see the new grip style. Those aren't too shabby looking. So cool, those look nice. There is your standard clutch cable there. Nice. Here is your standard double locking style clutch handle. So nice, not the old style, this is the new style. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and get into the important box here. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and see exactly what this new engine looks like. All right, there's the engine. Let me go ahead and get the carburetor. So here is the sprocket. So it looks like they sent 36 tube sprocket. Alright, let's go ahead and see what comes in here. Here is your, well, it looks to be a nice thick gauge throttle cable there. Not too bad, you can see. Alright, got your regular fuel line. It does look like the clutch springs and everything you need to keep that good to go. Here is your throttle housing. All right, so let's see. I can tell this is already different than this stock NT style. You can see this does say Bofang on there. Um, it does have a weird looking gas inlet. I like seeing this clamp there. Uh, some of those other clamps that come on some of the cheaper NT carbs, uh, they break and I've seen these actually break off here. So this is a nice style carb. It does actually tell you choke or not. That's funny. Uh, I have seen people put on bigger carbs uh, than this one and get great results. This one looks to be around the regular stock size, just in a newer style. So interesting new little carb there. All right, I went ahead and grabbed an engine stand and you can get these engine stands from Chaos Custom Garage. They have a bunch of these. So the piece we've all been waiting for, the engine itself. Not too big. In fact, a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay, look at this. Interesting. Let me get it out. Interesting. Look at that. ZT Moto right on the side. You can see this is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, but nice. I do see a windowed piston inside there. And this whole top jug, everything looks insanely familiar. So pretty sure they copied an MS460 uh, or MS660 chainsaw head here. So if you guys don't know where the whole chainsaw fad came from, let me explain. All right, so a little more history about this engine here and where it came from. So if you guys don't know, the motorized bicycle scene a couple years ago, everybody started taking the tops off of dirt bike engines, chainsaw engines, moped engines, a lot of small two-stroke engines, taking the top end and the piston and swapping it for uh, the jug and everything on the regular China Doll bike engine. In fact, a couple years ago, I actually got one of these TS400s. That was a nice engine. And then I built an MS440 for myself. Uh, as you can see, they did a whole lot of experimentations, and I guess this actually took about two years to produce. If I'm not mistaken, they actually copied uh, the top of a Force MS460 head or uh, MS660 head. It does have a 52 millimeter piston. So I went ahead and put the piston at bottom dead center, and you can see it does actually clear the exhaust hole, but it does leave that open. I think that's one of the reasons why they have the window piston and the reed valve itself. So this is just copied off of an old chainsaw engine. Um, like I said, I've seen several people, well not several, I've seen one person uh, put the G2 reed valve on here with a bigger carb. And then right out of the box, I guess they're hitting 50 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and get this ready to be taken apart. That way we can see what the inside of the jug looks like, what that windowed piston looks like, what kind of connecting rod, and a little bit of everything on the inside. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and tear this thing apart. It's nice to see something new and things heading in the right direction. Like I said, this one does have a 52 millimeter piston, which makes it with the stroke an actual 85 cc engine so it is technically the largest engine for a bike on the market bigger than the bt100 bigger than the yd100 
does look like they have three washers and one spring washer on every single one of these bolts. All right, got the head bolts off. Let's go ahead and get this guy off. <laughs> Come on now. Here she comes. Oh, that took a little bit of force. <laughs> All right, let me get these off so I don't lose all of these. Does have two bottom base gaskets. <sighs> all right. So let's check this out. Yep, that's what I thought it was going to look like. I don't know if you guys can see in there. There are those transfer ports. Everything looks decently clean. And does not look like it has uh, venting on the side here. So if you needed, you could probably reverse this around if you had to. Uh, does look like a little rough on the intake side. But the inside looks great. All right, so they told me there's actually a special ceramic coating on the inside here that keeps the inside protected. So a little bit stronger than your other style China dolls. But doesn't look to be too bad in their massive piston. Um... Not too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. You can see that gigantic 52 millimeter windowed piston, which works well with that reed valve. Um, I do want to point out that this connecting rod is stamped YD100. So it has, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the same stud spacing as a YD100. So they took a YD100 bottom end and then put pretty much a MS460 uh, or MS660 chainsaw jug on the top. Now, this does look to be a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, copied version of that chainsaw. Does say ZT Moto on there, but uh, not too bad. Does look to be the stock bottom end. So you can see the transfer ports here are open, but on here, they're not. So you do have that space. You can see that um, if you guys can put that together. I'm not too sure if there's any room for improvement on there, but we'll definitely give that a shot. All right, and just so you guys have a comparison, here's actually an MS440 actual jug off a chainsaw. So you can see this is really similar to this. Um, I think that's, you know, they actually obviously got the idea from that whole chainsaw fad that was going through the motorized bike game. Um, but a couple different adjustments they made. You can see the exhaust a little different, but very, very close in the same style, everything. You can see that's where those ports came from. It is copied off of a chainsaw jug. So um, I'm kind of super excited to see how this thing runs, how it does. Um, I love the fact that they actually tried to do what the performance guys were doing already, but from the factory. If this does work out, it's going to be one powerful engine. If it doesn't, hey, you know what? I've seen that happen before so just want to show you that they did definitely copy a chainsaw head to get this style um so while i got everything open here i'm gonna go ahead and just see what the actual magneto looks like on that side and the clutch on this side um this is if i'm not mistaken just a regular yd100 bottom end so i expect to see everything the same but let's go ahead and just check it out that way we all know what's going on here all right let's go ahead and check out this magneto side here just to see if everything is the same All right. Okay, so obviously, with the first thing I do with every engine is cut off this white wire here at the coil. But uh, from what I can tell, nice thick gauge wire in that actual that coil itself. Um, I might need to recenter the magneto up and down, but it does look to be a nice, uh, nice thick gauge wire magneto there. All right, let's go ahead and check out the clutch and see if there's anything new on there. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, gotcha. So it looks like your regular stock plate, your stock basket. It does have the black style, which is the softer style clutch pads, and looks to be a nice bevel gear there. I've seen some with cheap bevel gears, but since they use the bottom end of a YD100, um, I have seen, you know, a lot of upgraded parts on the YD100, so I think that all transferred over to the Phantom 85. All right, so I'm going to get everything back together here with the read on the way it should be. And I'm going to go over my final first looks, final review. 
All right, so my first look, final thoughts on the ZT Moto Phantom 85 from BicycleEngines.com. One looks awesome all together. I really like this new pipe. I know it's going to sound nice, deep, and throaty. What we've learned from taking it apart is this is actually a YD100 bottom end with an MS460 jug from a steel chainsaw. And one of the reasons why I even know and think that is here's the box I got with my MS440. Here's the top. Here's what came in the box on that tank. It actually says MS460 right on it. So YD100 bottom end with a chainsaw top, uh, which is nice to see. Um, I do like the fact that they mentioned several times quality with this engine. I know uh, some of the other engines that came out, the quality was kind of lacking. The fact that they actually have a ceramic coated cylinder on here really kind of tells me they're a little bit thinking about the longevity of this engine, which I'll definitely put that to the test. Nice OZ Reed style carb on there, but I think from what I've seen, we can easily switch that out with the G2 style. Nice racing carb there. I do expect good things with this engine, but I also will always give you a realistic review here. So uh, my next step is I'm going to throw this on a bicycle and see what this thing can do. So go down, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one with this thing going. So deuces.